Hey guys, welcome back to Ocean's Peace. Just wanted to give a little update on the tank. It's been a while since I've uploaded. Last time I uploaded, the tank was a utter mess. Uh, it was going under a cyano and dinos outbreak for probably six to eight months. I don't even remember when, but just a little bit of uh, Kimmy Clean or whatever um, seemed to do the trick. And so now we're getting things going again. Algae's all gone. Just a little bit of hair algae, but I just added in some hermits today so I could try and get rid of that. Um, you know, things have been pretty rough with that cyano because you can't add a whole lot of cleanup crew because it'll kill it all. But everything looks pretty good um, and a lot better than the last video. As you may be able to see, uh, if you've watched some of the videos, I've added some new corals. Uh, in particular, I've added uh, this hammer over here, which has been doing great. I've also moved a lot of things around. Like I've moved this trachea from right here, where this coral, this gyneopora, which I'll get into in a second. Um, I moved it from here to over here. Because um, it was getting way too big for this spot. And then also I got this gyneopora today, actually. Um, just a little bitty frag. Um, did well with the dip and everything. And it looks beautiful. Also, these A cans are doing great. A um, little bit of tissue loss on this one right here, but he's still doing fine. Um, I think the Duncan's just a little upset today. Um, Chalice is doing great. Monty's doing great as well. Um, and then this hammer is done probably the best, aside from this Kenya tree over here. But this this hammer right here has grown exponentially. Um, from when I got it about a year ago. It went from about two heads to about 15 in a matter of a year. Um, clownfish have been doing great. Uh, I can't remember last if last time I still had the royal grandma in here, but I was able to pull him out. Um, I believe I got him out between the last couple videos, um, but I'm so glad I got him out because now I'm waiting for these guys to be able to get into their anemone because the royal grandma wasn't allowing them to get in their anemone. So things are going well. This is a little frag that I had, this Kenya tree right here um, that just sprouted up. I may need to start fragging him actually now that he's getting bigger, but this Kenya tree is massive. If you take a look at it, you know, some of the cloudy glass, it is massive. Say hey to the cleaner shrimp. It's grown from a little tiny frag right here to multiple colonies. So things are looking really great. Very vibrant and very beautiful. Oh, focus. Once the, um, the clownfish get in their anemone, which hopefully should be soon, but who knows, it's been, it's, you know, a year and a half, two years or so. See, he's even checking it out, but he does that every night. Just doesn't get in it. Um, once they get in their anemone, I'll start adding more fish. I recently added some, um, I think they're like taker pods is what they're called. There's cocoa pods. Um, so maybe I may add in, um, may add in mandarin goby, um, because I think they're really beautiful. And he'd live on the sand bed and all that. Um, another coral, this coral right here, this GSP, used to look the worst for the longest time. And it used to reside where this trachea is now. Um, I moved him back here kind of just to get him out the way because I didn't like looking at him right there and I needed to move him right here. But um, I moved him back here and then all of a sudden he starts getting his green, his green vibrant tips back. And so now I hope that the GSP will eventually turn into a full green kind of wavy coral like it used to and be beautiful. Um, these toadstools are doing great. Um, as you may be able to see, I think, um, I think the aquascape is a little bit different because I had to tear down the tank pretty much completely to get the royal grandma out of here. Um, so it may be a little bit different. If you may notice, like some different caves and whatnot. Um, ever since I moved this toadstool over here on the the arc that it was on. And it just grew so much. Now it's starting to shrink for some reason while I'm recording this. I don't know why. But it's, as you can see, it's it loves waving. 
and this uh, the power head and it's doing it's doing fantastic right here and it looks absolutely beautiful um, as you may be able to see I got some hermits today I had some that I got a couple months ago but a lot of them died off because um, of the algae and whatnot um, but yeah I want to look at some of the, the corals individually this thing will focus yeah. And I started, um, I started feeding my clownfish bigger portions. Oh my gosh, focus. Um, I started feeding my clownfish bigger portions. Um, and they're starting to grow a little bit bigger because I've noticed that they haven't done a whole lot of growth in the two years that they've been in here, um, compared to other clownfish that I've seen. So they've started to grow a little bit, which I'm looking forward to. Pulsing zinnias hiding right here he's doing great um pulses a little bit some nights not right now but he's doing great um not growing too much though i wonder if there's a secret cure for that um but yeah overall this tank's been doing really well levels are pretty stable i haven't had a whole lot of issues in the past couple months since i ever since i used that kimmy clean i'll be trying to make another video soon um, I like making these big updates, um, just to keep things fresh, uh, but let me know if you want to see more content, you know, I'll post more, um, but, uh, yeah, I use this channel as a journal, and I'm glad that some of y'all spend the time to, you know, listen to what I have to say, so with that, I'm going to end this video here, um, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, you know, comment if you liked anything, or if you want, want to see anything, on future videos and yeah i'll see you then thanks guys